<laughs> oh my god. It's like a crossbow. Yeah. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. You go. You go. That was cool. That was so cool. Cool. You like it? Yeah. Me, people, cool. Oi. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what you're if you're wondering right now, we are in the mountains and uh, the entire village out here. They're like forty trees. Yeah, they're like in the middle of the mountains. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Man, this place is like... <sighs> that's a mixture of stench and nothing. You know what I mean? I'm just walking in circles for no absolute reason, so... Hello. Now, if you're wondering why the reason I didn't make a video earlier was because I was just, when we first landed in Thailand, we had to separate from May, so right now it's just the three of us in the gardening area for some reason. This is really cool. These people have earned my respect. They are living a traditional condition. Not even in a technological world. The thing is, it was so popular that they had to make it like a tourist spot here in Chiang Mai. So. They do the, what, yeah. the I don't know what is it called. Ash? Um, no, then it's the, um, the black thing that's like a um, sticky thing to make the, 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 the color, the pattern. Nectar? Yeah, yeah, yeah nectar. nectar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nectar. While using nectar. <laughs> sort of nectar, yeah. This is like, yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. I never seen it too. Thank you for coming with me so I have a chance to look at it. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> Even if I choose to come here, it is still pretty freaking cool. Aside from that, it mostly smells like a, like a sort of incense here. If I look good in the map, you know, they even have a restaurant here. But for some reason, they have a church. I have no idea why they have a church. But I like this part, I'm gonna put it this way. <laughs> yeah, um. Oh. Oh. Right now, I think we're somewhere around. Right, right there, that Hmong dot. It must be in the middle between the Hong and Yao. It might reach the kindergarten place. I think it's school here or something, but for now, we just gotta wait. Mm. Now, if you're wondering, all of these cloths, silks you've been seeing, they're all made by hand. Are extraordinary. They're unique. And believe it or not, some of these tribes barely exist anymore. I mean, the, but the ones that do, they don't. They don't want to follow tradition anymore. Now look at the uh, padong. These ones. They have these um necklaces that like like strip. They ex extend their neck. They believe that in tradition, that if they do it each year, it'll make them more beautiful each year. Now, I know what you're going to say, don't say it, it's really disrespectful. Honestly, I almost said it, but I didn't because I didn't want to hurt their feelings. But, um, yeah, you got to appreciate what they have, what they do. Remember, these people don't have technology with them. As far as I can say, if us modern people would live in this type of environment, we would pretty much die. I mean, these people have earned my respect. Maybe... Maybe they should earn yours. Sorry, the graphics are pretty bad. It's humid here, so it's sweating like crazy. Uh, 
video. <laughs> if I had to choose, if I had a 1 out of 10 scale on how much they use technology, I'd go for 1 out of 10, man. This is like, it's like third world. So, this place is really, um, I don't have to describe this, but this place is awesome. It reminds you of the old time. Like, anyway, well, I'm gonna go now. Let's save this for another video. Be ready for part two, whatever I'm gonna make soon. So, yeah, this is Wolf Wind signing.